Welcome to SMF Street. StockMarketFunding.com is going to present the NTAP. Net app beats by three cents. They beat on the revs. The guidance is in line. And revs in line. There isn't anything doom and gloom about it except in after hours. If you want to get net long or you want to see a stock perform, you don't want inline guidance. You want upside guidance. Nonetheless, they executed well. Um... The revenues had ro rose up there to 30, 36.0% year to year to 1.14 billion, slightly ahead of the 1.3 billion consensus there. The EPS of 47 to 50 versus 47 is about in line and flat to nothing there. Q2 revs were 1.16 to 1.21 billion uh, versus the 1.17 billion, so it was uh, Reuters, uh, so it was down toward the lower end of the Q2 rev guidance. The after hours movement is that we hit a high 39.53 and we're roughly down about $2. Um, we will look at how to trade this off the bottom in the morning activities instead of you know trying to get something in the after hours today. There's just not enough volume. It's drifting lower based on the inline guidance because inline guidance now we've had a reversal up here as a daily chart by the way. That reversal was right to that 100-day simple moving average with the daily sell signal. Let's not forget that NTAP does have a daily sell signal there. And it had a very good trend. And last earnings, they gapped up. They beat for about five quarters in a row. So, you know, they're still, for where we are at in the economic cycle and the slowdown cycle, they are did okay. I it's nothing to write home about it's a trade off of the bottom that's all it's going to be and if we see weaknesses and we see other things start to deteriorate well then we'll be aggressive of getting it short when it comes up and fails at resistances I will let you know that the daily chart does not look good and basically you can see where the resistance is going to be right there BAM so that's the upper end of that resistance. That's where that uh, top was. This is another longer view. That's where the breakout was. But we also know that we had a four-day top up there. This stock hasn't looked back. And that's a pretty good haircut off of these highs at $44 where it slipped. Uh, printing right now at 37 60 by 69 But once again, it'll be a trade off of that bottom support level. We're going to see if it breaks this 100-day moving average tomorrow. That's where it's gapping down to right now. Is the daily 100-day simple moving average. That's this uh, line right here.